there welcome back to beauty bee i was really bad this month this is my collective haul so we really shouldn't waste too much time on introduction because this is already going to be a really long video so you know how i usually have my bin right well i have bin number one Boop. but i additionally have a second bin which admittedly not as full as the first one however still pretty full. Let's start with some of the things that we've already talked about quite a bit on this channel. So things that I maybe unboxed or have already done videos on. So we have this Tula skincare um, sunscreen that I got in my BoxyCharm, or not BoxyCharm, I don't get BoxyCharm, FabFitFun. And this Elemis Pro Collagen Night Cream that was additionally gotten in my FabFitFun box. I haven't opened either of them, but I think those were both nice things to receive in the box. Also got the Copacetic Cosmetics Beauty Box for the month of May, but it came in June or maybe the very end of May. Anyway, it came after I filmed the last one of these videos. So in there, I got a mini nail polish in this beautiful holographic blue glitter. A little lip gloss. And two loose pans. So we have a blue eyeshadow and then this stunning pink highlight, which is the only thing in the box I didn't get to choose. But yet it's also my favorite thing that I got in the box. I've had this for less than a month and I've used it like 12 times. It is the most gorgeous thing to put right here on your cheek. It looks so glowy and not natural, but somehow really, really healthy. I'm really pleased with it. Okay, so that was Copacetic Cosmetics. Now, let me, now let me do some digging for the balm stuff. I did a video on these as well when I was at Hy-Vee, which is a grocery store chain in my area of the Midwest, I found that they were, I think, just clearing some inventory for the Balm and Stila and Smashbox. And Stila and Smashbox were looking pretty picked over, so I only ended up buying one little Stila eyeshadow. This is a one of their liquid suede in the shade Midnight Espresso. But they had a ton of the balm, and I really adore the balm. I admit that they have gone down about a half a step in my estimation since I had some problems with some of their products, specifically their liquid eyeshadows, in that video. But I've been really happy with the other things that I got. So I purchased four of these Mr. Right Now eyeliners. These are twist up eyeliners. I have been using this like plum shade quite a bit and I am super super happy with it. I have blue or green eyes and I find that this really makes them pop. I think it works really similarly to how those like burgundy mascaras would but it's not a burgundy mascara. I wouldn't be willing to wear burgundy mascara every day I think. So I have no interest in having a bunch of mascaras open at once, so we can skip that. But having this kind of eyeliner, awesome. And I also purchased the Bonnie Dumanizer, which is a liquid highlighter or illuminator. I've used, only used this maybe once so far, but it is very, very pretty. And then I have several lip products, two lip glosses, the lip glosses in their range, or at least one of the sets of lip glosses in their range, I, they may have multiple, are the Plump Your Puckers. So I have like a honey nude that's pretty much sheer with a ton of golden shimmer, and then this beautiful, beautiful berry shade. And for Meet Matte Hues, which are their matte liquid lipsticks, these don't dry down 
to be super matte or super long wearing. They're a very comfortable formula. And they smell like mint Oreos, which I am always into. So I purchased four of these. These look really similar in the tube, but on my lips, they are all slightly varying shades of my lips, but better. And I quite like them. This one is obviously a coral. I met the other three. I think we, we all understood that, but I felt the need to explain for some reason. So now that we've gotten all of the things that I've talked about at some length in other videos out of the way, we can get into a rough timeline of my purchases for the month. So I think the first things that I would have bought would have been some items from the BoxyCharm Mega Drop Shop for May. So I purchased four items in that drop shop, kind of five, but the first was a duo. This is a shampoo and conditioner. I'm showing you the conditioner right now because the shampoo is in my shower being used. This is the Nelson Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Shampoo and then Conditioner. I haven't tried the conditioner yet, but I've been pretty impressed with the shampoo. I thought that my hair felt really soft after the first two times I've used it, which is all that I've used it so far. And it has this really delightful, creamy coconut scent. So I'm quite happy with that so far. Another product I've been getting really good use out of is this Rowan Liquid Lip Balm in Charlie. I saw Lauren May Beauty talk about this several, several times. And I was intrigued. I like a liquid lip balm. I do really like the Huda one, but this is quite nice too. Uh, it's a really lovely color, just a soft mauvey brown, rosy brown. It has some minty tingle to it, which is not my favorite thing, but it's totally fine. I like the packaging. I think the color is really nice. It feels not super moisturizing, but certainly more moisturizing than the majority of uh, tinted lip products. This is just a really, really nice, I would say it's a lip gloss, but we'll let them call it a liquid lip balm. It's fine. I'm pretty happy with this. Lauren May Beauty did not steer me wrong this time. The most exciting purchase from that order was this little Natasha Denona palette. This was like $12, and once I saw that that was on the BoxyCharm site, I could not leave it behind because this is such a pretty set of colors. This is the Ayana palette. I believe that this came out in BoxyCharm maybe last year. I think I talked about this well, the palette that came out with it, which is, I think, the Jubilee in some kind of new makeup releases video. But look at that color scheme. It's really lovely. I am not going to swatch because I'm on a little bit of a tight schedule to film this video. And I know that if I start swatching, I'm not going to stop. But I will make a video about this very soon, but know that it is absolutely lovely. These cool tone neutrals are very much my preferred style of neutral. These are very much my colors and I feel very fancy having a Natasha Denona palette. And then finally from that boxy charm mega drop shop order, I purchased a set of Pierlis sheet masks. These are their coconut and rice nourishing sheet masks. There are six in here. I got a good price on these. I want to say these were five or six dollars and I haven't opened them up yet. I've actually been using sheet masks really rarely this month, which is odd for me. Usually I use maybe one every other week, one every week and a half, something in there. But I've liked the other Pure Least products that I've tried. I've actually quite tried quite a few at this point. I think I'm maybe have a mask and two makeup products. I think I would quite like these as well. 
At least I hope so. Oh, you know what? I was wrong. I also purchased these nail polishes in the Mega Drop Shop. These are from Context. And this brown is actually what I'm wearing today. I've had this nail polish on for five days, I think. So, yes, it is looking rough, but it's really not the polish's fault. Everything's going to look bad on me after five days. I will do some kind of nail polish roundup where I talk about the formulas and performance of some of the nail polishes that I've recently purchased rather than bog down this video with mini reviews. But I have tried this one and I like the color but I'm not super happy with the components and I have not tried this one yet. But I think that this one, unless the formula is just significantly better, is not that likely to work out really well for me. And keeping with nail polish, over I think Memorial Day, Ipsy was running some kind of additional sale because doesn't every brand run some additional sale over Memorial Day? And I purchased four nail polishes. The first one that I got is from People of Color and it's this beautiful bronze shade. This is the shade Bronze Beauty. I have used this on my toes and it's really, really pretty. Pretty impressed with that. I purchased this one from Color Club called Birthday Suit, which is really quite a good nude for me. I don't think I did a good job applying this. It got kind of thick and goopy because I don't think I waited long enough between coat one, which was already bordering on being too thick, and then coat two, which was definitely put on a little too thick. I was able to salvage the nail look and I am excited to continue to give that a go. And then I got this little duo from Misho, I think, Mishu Beauty. I remember I looked this up and it's not Misho like I've been saying, it's definitely a softer eye, a short eye sound, but I got this little duo of nail polishes and they are adorable. I love the packaging on these. So far I've tried the red and was quite pleased with it. It's actually on my toes now. It is this beautiful in between like a Mickey Mouse red and a poppy shade. It's very very pretty. And then this peachy coral shade which I think is going to be my next manicure. Anyway, I haven't tried that one yet, so I don't have a lot to say about it. The next purchase, maybe, I think these were practically the same day, uh, Luxie Beauty had a lot of their shades on super great sale. I think these were $2.50 a piece. So I purchased 12 additional eyeshadows. I kept two lighter shades shimmers only because I'm really happy with the mattes that I have. I don't feel any great desire to increase my collection of mattes very much at all, but I thought that these were very pretty. I really like how it turned out that I kind of bought three in different in four different color schemes so I can arrange them in this grid and then in that bottom corner I'm not hiding anything that's just the Copacetic Cosmetics ones that we talked about earlier. Like the nail polishes, I will talk about these in some kind of maybe dedicated video, maybe in with something else, rather than make this video an hour long. But I did purchase them and they are very, very pretty. These took a long time to get to me though. I think I ordered these on like May 28th and they just got to me yesterday. So it was almost exactly a month. I was kind of worried that they weren't going to come, but I did receive them. They showed up in good shape. Everything's good. I actually made two purchases from Ulta this month, which is pretty unusual for me. I can often go, you know, four or five months without making any Ulta purchases, but apparently I was just in a buying mode this month. We're going to change that for next month we'll introduce that later. Uh, I don't remember which things came from which orders. So we're just going to talk about them all at once. 
I ended up purchasing five lip products. Why? I did not need five lip products, especially after I'd purchased six from the balm. But I was tempted in because they had a lot of their ColourPop things on sale. So I purchased three ColourPop lippy sticks. I used to have quite a few lippy sticks back in like 2016, 2017, but I've really only been down to one for quite a while. I have like a deep red. So I decided to try some new ones. I have two from that like giraffe collection that they did. So I have O oh Behave and then Brat Pack. O oh Behave is this deep brown shade. I have no idea when I'm gonna wear that, but it looks really, really pretty. Brat Pack, which is still a brown, but a lot lighter. I can see that being a really pretty shade for summer and then into fall. And these smell so good. Always love the way these lippy sticks smell. And then this one is Coyote Ugly. I don't know which collection this is from. I'm guessing it is that first collection that had the square pans. It was some kind of like southwestern US theme. But this is also a brown, but a little bit more reddish. And I don't think that I have anything terribly, terribly similar to these shades. So I'm glad that I did a good job of judging that based on the pictures I could see online. And I think that I'm going to enjoy these. I imagine that this one's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me to wear. I don't know exactly how I'll pull off this deep brown, but these two shades are really lovely and I think I'll enjoy them a lot. They also had some of their NYX stuff on sale. So I purchased two of their liquid lipsticks from different ranges. First, we have the Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is a range that I actually have quite a bit of experience with. I actually owned these, quite a few of these, right around the same time that I had a lot of these ColourPop lippy sticks. So we're thinking like, maybe a little bit later. I think we're looking more like 2016 to 2018 for these. But I had always kind of wanted this shade. And when I was on Ulta one day, I was like, you know, let's uh, fulfill 2015 me's fantasy of having the shade Antwerp. And it is a bold, bold pink shade. I kind of wish that I had purchased this back in 2015 because I think I would have gotten a ton of use out of it. I don't think I'll get as much use out of it today for a couple of different reasons. First, because I'm not quite as into bright, bright pink as I was back in the day, but also because I have way, way more lipstick than College Iris did. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to love it when I do wear it. And I have long adored this kind of bright pink. It is probably my favorite pop of color for the lips. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. I really like the way it plays with my coloring. And then, and then I also decided to branch out a little bit and try the NYX Liquid Suede. I purchased the one in Soft Spoken, I think. Yes because that seemed right for me. I apologize for the sound quality on my videos. I try to remember to speak up, but um, it's, it's just how I am. But there is a swatch of that. It is still brown. I was definitely feeling the browns this month in really all forms. I got some brown nail polish, some brown lipstick, brown eyeshadow. But this one is definitely more cool toned. It has more of a plummy mauve tone to it than any of the ColourPop ones do. Those are all quite a bit warmer. So I didn't just dupe myself four times over, even though I did purchase four brown lipsticks, which thank goodness. 
if you are in the market for really any kind of mainstream nail polish, Ulta has been clearing out a lot of their polishes, so I would definitely give them a look. I ended up getting three on this trip. So these two are from China Glaze. They might both be showing up as black on camera, but this is a very deep green. Oh, there it is. There it's catching the light. This is the shade Hex My X, which I think looks gorgeous. I haven't tried either of these yet because, I don't know, June isn't really when I want to be wearing these kinds of colors, but I didn't think they would probably be around and at the same price point once we got to October. So decided to go for it now. And then I have the shade Kiss and Spell, which is a very deep red. Again, I think you can see the sheen on that. I think it'll be, I think these will be really, really pretty. That's another like 2016 me thing was the almost black nail polish, but like a deep blue, a deep purple, a deep green. I am really fulfilling my 21, 22 year old self's fantasies in this video. One more nail polish for this round. This is from Nailtopia. I keep seeing Amanda Alexander. It's Amanda, I think is her YouTube channel name. She talks about these a lot and these are usually a little bit more expensive. They're not exorbitant, but these are usually right around the $10 price point. Um, these Nailtopia polishes are, and this one was $2.50. So I decided I wanted to give this one a go. This is the shade Nailers Knot. It is a really pretty blue, not a shade. Okay. It's like a lot of shades that I own, but I feel like it's different, kind of. I'm convincing myself it's different. I this once. It was very, very pretty. I really enjoyed it. And she was right. The formula on this polish is great. And the most exciting thing that I got from Ulta, I think, was the Tinkerbell Trio of Super Shocks. Now, I love the Super Shocks. We've talked about these a lot on my channel, and I think I've also talked about how much I love the look of the Tinkerbell collection that ColourPop did. Actually, I know I have. I think I had a video where I was ranking their intellectual property collabs just based on aesthetics and how interesting I personally thought they were without having tried practically any of them, and Tinkerbell came out on top. So now I have a couple of little items from the collection. These came in a trio, they were on sale, I think for 50% off. And I have the shades Fly to Your Heart, which is this beautiful pink. This is like a nude pink on me, it is gorgeous. I've worn it three times probably and really liked it each time. I have Never Grow Up, which looks like a pretty deep berry in the pan. It shows up a little bit lighter. I think that the way I will probably continue to wear this most often is with this all over the lid and then putting a little bit of this in the upper corner. That is a really, really pretty look. These are a little bit of a stiffer Super Shock formula. Maybe this is me reaching for a pattern, but I feel like the ones that don't have that be sort of beehive hexagonal imprint tend to be a little bit more stiff, but they work really well. I'm very happy with them. And then the more poppy shade in this trio is this green. This is straight on till morning. And it is a beautiful Tinkerbell, Peter Pan kind of green. All three are shimmery, which is great. I'm really not interested in the matte super shocks. The packaging on these is adorable. I'm just really, really happy to have these. These really make me smile. I wish that I felt about all of my makeup the way I feel about these. And I think that's a good sign to me that I need to really, really scale back, which I am going to do in the next month. Um, yeah. I want to feel about 
more of my makeup the way I feel about those. They, they make me really, really happy. I didn't get this at Ulta. I actually am not really counting this as a new item. I purchased this at Target, intending it to be a gift, and then when it came, I realized this is just not a color that that person will wear. I thought that it was going to be a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter than it ended up being. So I just switched this out for a nail polish that was in my collection, but unused. And um, I took this one, I stuck the other one in the gift. So a net change of zero there, but it did come into my collection. I purchased a Peeps nail polish. I love these Sally Hansen Insta Dries. I said in my inventory video, I know I said this and I rue the day at this point, that I thought I had pretty much all the ones that I wanted from this line, so I didn't think my collection was gonna grow very much. And I am a clown. So I purchased this one, which is this beautiful blue. This is from the Peeps and it's just called Peeps Blue. So no exciting shade name here. It's a little bit more on the true blue side than my shirt, which has a little bit of green in it. But this is a kind of color that I really, really like. I don't own anything quite this bright. Again, I know, I'm a clown. I have so many light blue nail polishes, but this one's different. This one is more aqua and most of them are more periwinkle. I know. Yeah, I, I can, I feel your judgment. And then the Friends line, they were also clearing out. So I purchased this Sally Hansen Miracle Gel with Friends nail polish. Now I watched Friends somewhat regularly back in the early 2000s, but I was like nine when that show ended. So I don't have a whole lot of nostalgia for it. The fact that this was Friends really didn't draw me in, but I was interested in trying this formula. This is the shade Stick to the Routine. And it is a rose gold, but more on the, almost a, more of a rose bronze glitter base. And it has two sizes, maybe three sizes even, of orange and blue glitters. I think this will be fun. I don't know if I can build this up to opacity by itself. I haven't tried this yet, but it could also be a really good topper. I could see myself wearing it over this. And here's another clown purchase. Bought the Paint with Pride set from Sally Hansen. It's the Insta Drives. It's in this rainbow of colors. Now I think I own something pretty similar to this red and something pretty similar to this purple. But these four different shades in the center are definitely quite unique to my collection. And the red and the purple are also the shades in this collection that I could see my mom wearing. So I might pass those off to her. I just thought it was pretty cool that Sally Hansen was collabing with Glad, and this was on quite good sale very cute polishes and they do have the little glad labels on the individual bottles so it's not one of those collections that's going to no longer look like a collection once i take it out of the box this is a little perfume this is from pacifica this is the tahitian gardenia scent i really like this scent i actually bought this a couple of years ago for my mom for mother's day i remember when i was a kid she and I used to go to like Target and Michael's and when we were there, if we were kind of taking a leisurely uh, stroll through Target or Michael's, we would often stop and smell the candles and we both always loved the gardenia scents. Now, unfortunately, the perfume didn't really work out for her. It gave her a headache and she ended up tossing it, but I just really like that scent, so. I decided to pick it up for myself and I love this. I've only had this for a couple days, but I've worn it, I think every day except today. I think today I'm wearing a different Pacifica perfume. I think I'm wearing the vanilla one.
yeah, though that's honestly uh, worn away a little bit, so let's go for it. I really like this. You'd have to like gardenia, of course. I mean, it is the Tahitian gardenia scent, so if you don't like gardenia, you're not going to like this. But I really like it. I like it a lot. Elf, a few times a year, I think roughly seasonally, does a big clearance event where they'll get rid of a lot of things for like 60% off of their original price. I think I spent around $27, $28, which seems like unnecessary information, but I think that it clears up some of why I purchased so much, which will probably become obvious as I go through everything. But let's start with the makeup. I purchased this brow product. This is, I do not know what this is. It is their uh, brow pomade though. I got mine in the shade light brown. I haven't tried this yet. I I don't know that it's gonna work for me. They didn't have a blonde shade or at least they didn't have a blonde shade still available. So I thought maybe light brown would be good, but We'll have to see. I don't know yet. I got a little trio of these mini Jelly Pop products. So they came with the Dew Primer, which I have used a couple of times. This was quite sticky feeling, but I found that my makeup wore really well on top of it. So I need to continue to play around with this. I don't have any really solid thoughts yet. The Juicy Gloss in this red shade. It's close to clear, but it does have this great watermelon scent to it. This entire line pretty much has this great watermelon scent to it that I adore, and I really like this gloss so far. And then this is weird. This is their face and eye gloss, and it is this sticky gloss in a pot. Very glittery. I have only used this as a cheek highlight and I, I don't know about this yet. It's another thing that I need to try out some more. But it looks so pretty in the, in the container. I need to try this on my eyes. I love these white glittery shades. On my eyes. I don't know why I haven't used this yet. Purchased... I grabbed the wrong one. I actually purchased one of these e.l.f. monochromatic multi-sticks in bronze cherry, but I guess I grabbed my sparkling rose one. The bronze cherry one is a little bit of like a very bronzy golden orange shade. It's pretty. It has quite a bit of shimmer to it. Um, for me, I think it will be more of a summer to fall shade than a winter spring. It's very warm, but quite pretty. And just for an idea, there is the rose one. They're these really thick sticks. Um, these are a cream to powder formula. I thought at first these were going to be a lot like the milk makeup ones, but they're not like that at all. I actually really prefer this formula. Realizing that my idea of what is makeup and what is skincare might be a little different for most people, but whatever. Um, the next thing is this e.l.f. Lip Primer and Plumper. This is a dual-ended product. I haven't used it yet, but it has a plumper on one side and then a primer on the other. Now, the primer is definitely what I was more interested in. I thought that that might be really nice for wearing under matte liquid lipsticks or for wearing under really deep lipsticks, like that deep brown that I showed from ColourPop. I haven't tried it yet, though. I will report back when I do. And as a gift with purchase, I actually got two gifts with purchase. I think one of the skincare pieces was another one. And I got this... Bite Size Face Duo in Cantaloupe, and this is a shade that I've been interested in for a long time. So there is this really light 
peachy blush. It almost pulls yellow on my skin, but in a really pretty way. There's lots of pigment. It definitely shows up. And then this light peachy golden highlight, which is also very pretty. These don't feel like a $3 powder. I'm quite impressed with them. The thing that I was laughing about was that I put all of the primers in the skincare category because that's kind of how I think of primer. I like to have kind of a variety of primers as a spot fix almost for a variety of different types of skin. You know, if my skin is really red that day, I think it can be nice to have a tone adjusting face primer, which is this one. This is the green one that's supposed to help cancel out redness. If my skin is feeling really sensitive that day or really sensitive in a particular area, I thought that the soothing face primer would be nice. And I think these are like six ish dollars regular price and then 60% off. These are pretty small sizes. These are a half an ounce. So if you are using these every single day, it probably wouldn't be great for you. However, these are things that I'm mostly interested in using just when my skin is acting up in different ways. So I thought that could be a good way to combat it. I also purchased the Hydrating Facial Face Primer Prime on the Go, which I don't know why this is Prime on the Go. It is a uh, half an ounce. It's actually very slightly larger than these. These are point four seven ounces or 14 mils. This is 0.51 ounces or 15 mils. Anyway, um, this is just a hydrating facial primer. I tend to use a hydrating facial primer most days, so I thought, why not try another one for a very reasonable price? I purchased a lip exfoliator. This is the Sweet Cherry one. I usually have one of these open and one of these on backup, and I had one open and none on backup, so we fixed that. The other free gift that I got with my purchase was this mini Keep Your Balance toner. I haven't opened it up yet, but I have it. I purchased two facial mists, the Hydrating Coconut and then the Soothing Aloe. I have used up one of these Hydrating Coconut mists and I did really like it. I thought that the Soothing Aloe might be really nice to keep on hand for the summer in case I get sunburned. Thought this would be very nice feeling on my skin. I have had this idea for the last couple months that I'm running extremely low on cleanser. It's not true. <laughs> I was at one point, but I fixed that and I haven't really gotten it through my skull yet when I was making this order. So I purchased two more. Uh, these are both the Bounce Back Jelly Cleanser with Coconut. I have not tried these yet. They are sitting in my backup drawer, but I hope that these will work out really nice. These are in the same line as that coconut mist that I just showed, and I love the scent on that. So hopefully these also smell really nice. And even if they don't, I mean, I think I got these for $2.50 each or something. So if it just gets my skin clean for $2.50, doesn't break me out, we'll be good. And then the last thing from e.l.f. was this little oil control trio. Um, I don't tend to deal with really oily skin. However, once we get into July, August, my skin can get a little bit oily. I thought it might be nice to try some oil control products to help combat that, but keep them to minis so that I don't have, you know, 20% used full sizes sitting around in my collection the rest of the year. So I have the Oil Control Pore Minimizing Serum. This is nine and a half mils. Most full size serums are 
30 mils. So it's about a third of the size. This oil control pink powder mask. I have no idea what to expect from this, but I will report back, of course. And then the oil control liquid lotion, which is, I think, a moisturizer with oil control properties in it. This is one fluid ounce. I don't know. I will give it a go. Apologies if things look a little bit different. I ran out of room on my camera, so I needed to go uh, free up some space. It told me that I'd purchased too much and needed to stop. And I am actually done with everything that I purchased. I did, however, receive a little set of things from Influencer that I wanted to talk about really quick at the end here. I received four of these glow, Ultimate Glow Shots from NYX. So I have a bronze, a light gold, a white, and a pink. I've only used these once so far, but I was pretty impressed. So we will continue to play around with those, of course. Report back in greater detail the way I've said how many times in this video so far. And that is what came into my collection this month. It was a lot. I'm really not happy with the amount that I purchased. I'm kind of embarrassed, actually. I haven't had great luck with no buys in the past. There's something about the no buy that just triggers in my mind, like it's time to buy all the things. But I, I need to really, really cut back. I brought in way too much stuff this month. And I think that for probably quite a while after that specific no buy July period, I'm probably going to remain on a no buy for nail polish, for lip products, and for eyeshadow. So definitely going to be a lot fewer hauls, certainly for the next month, but probably for the foreseeable future, I really want to cut back significantly going forward. I am not going to break my low buy. That is not an option for me, but I just wanted to give you some forewarning that there will be a monthly collective haul. It's just things that I ordered in the past two weeks or so that haven't come to me yet. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you made it to the end of this video. I know it was a very long one. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these products. I will do my best to answer them. And if you would like to join me in No By July, I would love to hear that as well. Hopefully uh, we can hold each other accountable. Thank you again for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed today's video. Though I guess if you enjoyed today's video, you're not going to see anything super similar for quite a while. So maybe that wasn't the best uh, advertisement for subscribing to my channel. Anyway, I hope to see you next time anyway. Thanks again. Bye.